the 13th Sunday after Pentecost, year A, from the book of Exodus. Come no closer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Moses had been somewhat insulated from the misery of his people. When God tells Moses to take off his shoes, it isn't an indication of divine displeasure with footgear, but rather a call for Moses to step out of all the self-preserving roles that separate him from the reality being experienced by his people. Moses protests, asking, Who am I? And what shall I say when they ask me who sent me? God answers both questions when he says to Moses, I am who I am. God not only is who God is, but God calls us to be who we are. That confrontation with reality is hard. Occasionally, it even exposes us to danger. That's why it's important to remember the other part of what God says. I will be with you. And as we search for the Lord and his strength, we need look no further than Jesus, who took off his own shoes so that God might experience firsthand the suffering of his people. Jesus explains this and that he must be killed and on the third day be raised. To deny this necessity for suffering is to side with Satan, the accuser, who argues that God cannot claim solidarity with our pain. In the letter to the Romans, St. Paul tells us not to be haughty, but to associate with the lowly, even to the point of feeding our hungry enemies and giving drink to them when they are thirsty. When we do these things, when we use who we are right now as a holy people, and the place where we stand right now as holy ground, we can do amazing things. This is who God is. This is what God does. This is the God who is with us. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.